Hello, good morning. Okay, so it's almost 7.25. Left the gym, went to the grocery store, met Lowe's. Okay, so a couple weeks ago we came in here and we got some doorknobs. And remember I told you that you have to get extra doorknobs. Well, if you'll remember, I got extra doorknobs, but I didn't get enough extra doorknobs. So I'm here to get doorknobs again today. And I want to show you how you can safeguard yourself from getting locked out of the house because I've done that a couple different times and it's not really fun. Um, but if you were with me last week, then you'll remember, oh, look, I'm 20 minutes late and there's all sorts of people here. Okay, so come down here and it was the outside ones that I didn't get enough of and this was what we got, but that wasn't the number we got. It had a bunch of twos in it. Uh-oh. No, maybe it was that. Okay, so remember when you're getting locks, if you're at Lowe's or Home Depot, there's a yellow number on the back, and that's the key number. Okay, so this one is 718, and this is the same knob, but that's 789. Okay, so I'm going to take both of these because I don't remember which one I got. I thought I got one with twos in it. But... So we're just going to get these. Okay. But now, and since we're talking about deadbolts, good morning, how are you? I'm fine, and you? Good. This is how you're going to keep yourself from getting locked out. When you go to the house and you put these deadbolts on, hang on a second. Do you see their extra keys right there? Can you see them? There's two extra keys right there. And if you will ask the people here at the hardware desk, nobody's here right this second, but they will break open this package for you, especially if you're getting all new keys right up front, and they'll make you one or two extras. Now the problem is when you get, you know, five or six or 10 or 50 houses, then you have that many keys. And there is a way that you can uh, tag the keys. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, here you go. Okay, so this little thing, you can get all these little white circles right there. And with any regular pen or Sharpie marker, you can write your address or your unit number on that and attach it to your keys and then you're going to end up with just a whole bunch of keys um, they even have some that are color coded you know however you're going to figure this out but you have to start labeling them and um, you can get these big fancy ones if you want to but you got to remember that you're going to be carrying these around and i would just soon get these little bitty guys okay one thing you can do so you don't get locked out and some of you may do this at your own house, but maybe you didn't think about doing it at your rental house. You see that little guy? He's a magnet, and you can put him on the gutter, hide him on the water hose. Put him somewhere, and do not tell your tenant where it is, okay? Because if your tenant up and leaves in the middle of the night, you're gonna have to bust down the door or break through a window to get in, unless, you're smart enough to hide a key. Okay? And you can use that little magnet thing. Um, there's a key holder thing like this, and it looks just like, I mean, when you put it in the ground there, it looks like something that the termite guy would put out, the bug guy would put it out. Um, if you have an apartment, there's this one, and it's a whole cabinet full of keys. There's a rock. There's all sorts of places that you can hide a key, and I bet you've thought about doing this at your house so that your kids have a key uh, when they can get home, but maybe you haven't thought about doing this at your rental house. Another thing I like to do, these guys. My apartments have one of these guys so that um, the bug guy goes every third Wednesday 
and he can get in and spray for bugs and pests without me meeting them there or without the tenants being home. You know, I tell them ahead, but they know to expect him to come, and he's got a key. He can go in and look at it. What else is cool about the bug guy going and checking once a month? He goes in and sprays once a month. That means I don't have to go check what's going on once a month. I have somebody on my team that goes and checks and maybe costs 20 or 30 bucks, but that's better than me driving out there because my time is way, worth way more than just 20 or 30 bucks an hour. And I'm not going to spray for bugs. He is while he's there. So it's like a double whammy. If you got other people living in your house or living in your apartment, you want the bugs sprayed on a regular basis. Okay. I wanted to show you one last thing, and it is down this aisle. I love the hardware section over here. Can you all tell that? Okay. This is all you need. Like, literally, this is the only thing that you need to start buying houses or to start renting houses. Ladder coming through. You see all these signs? Just in this section, this is, this is all you need. Um, this one is what you need. It's blank. It's got a little, we call that a um, H bracket, because it looks like an H. And you get one or two of these guys. You put them out on the corner that says, I buy houses, or I buy rental houses, or I buy ugly houses. You can put a sign out that says, my wife buys houses, my husband buys houses, whatever you want to say on this sign. Oh, that's good. We'll talk about those too. Because the sign will just lay there and let you write whatever you want to on it. But if you're going to make these signs, you have to promise me that you'll only use a magnum marker. Not a king size, not a regular thick tip marker. It has to be a magnum marker. Sir, you don't have any magnum markers around here, do you? They're usually up in the tools. Um, I'll go look. Okay. So, this is a surprise bonus for y'all. You see these boxes that he's putting up? info box or an info tube right here you can hang those on your sign and here's the killer thing don't put anything in them or put one description of the house in there laminate it get a highlighter and say last one please don't take people will call you from it empty info box if your phone number is on that sign in front of the house and they're gonna be like oh my gosh you're out of flyers you need to get more flyers out here and I'm like oh I just can't keep flyers in there that house is just so in demand I cannot keep flyers there <laughs> and people buy it okay they're gonna be like holy cow this house is going fast everybody wants this house I need to put an offer in or it's gonna be gone exactly that's exactly what you need to do. Give me an offer. Let's get started. All right? So go to Lowe's, go to Home Depot. There's this section. Everything that you're going to need is right here. Also, if you see these signs, this one says for sale by owner. That means come buy me. If you're an investor, come buy me. This sign right here that says for rent, Sometimes for rent means come by me. I don't want to be a landlord anymore. Call on the for rent signs. Doesn't hurt anything. Maybe you'll make a friend. This sign right here, that sign is money. It's just not in your pocket yet. For sale by owner, that's what you're looking for. Looks like a big red target that says, come by me. I don't want to pay an agent. I don't want to deal with an agent. I don't know what I'm doing, but I want to get rid of my house. And if you know what you're doing and you're an investor, come by me. That's what for sale by owner translates to. All right. So this has been your Lowe's lesson of the week. And I hope you learned a lot. I'm doing a webinar tomorrow that will show you... If you got money, how to invest. If you don't got money, how to invest. Whatever it is you're working with, 
we can get you into real estate with that much money. And I'm going to show you how tomorrow, 7.05 p.m. I'll put the link up in the comments here. And I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.